Hello everybody, this is Dee and welcome to my channel, Dee Plans and Budgets. I am so grateful you took some time out of your day to spend it with me, especially as this is Monday. I know Mondays mean nothing to me because I'm retired, but to many of my friends out there, Monday's the first day of the work week, first day of the kids' school, maybe the kids are back from spring break into school, whole lot, a lot of going on. So, much like my budgeting video today, Mondays will have a lot going on, and I have a lot going on in my videos today. Um, let's do some things first. I made a book, and I talked a little bit. I've used this book before, but I kept having problems because of trying to color in the challenges as a lefty. So I just made this book, and I reversed the challenges in here. Just punched them on the other side. Yeah, perfect. Okay, all right, first and foremost on Mondays, we do my budget recap. What did I spend last week? And I wanted to show you real quick, this is, these are some old Happy Planner pages that I use and I just use this to write down separately. This is my actual tracker. These are what I actually track my spending on. This is my variable and then I do my lower priority and my regular sinking funds. And the reason I don't share these with you is as you can see, they're all marked up and they might be a little bit confusing to understand. In addition, I keep these for the entire month because at the end of the month, I tally everything. And I do this, for instance, this means that there's more than one category on a receipt. So for instance, this green here, goes with this green over here. And then I know that those two things were on one receipt. This means it's been um, taken money taken out of the envelopes. This means it's been reconciled with my credit card. So as you can see, there's a lot of things that go on. And this is just a little busy, I think, to share on the channel. And that is why I just use one of these sheets. So first off, my trip. I told y'all I'd spend or share the budget on my trip. The only big unexpected thing I had on this trip was a hotel bill for $113.52. I had booked two nights at a state park in Mineral Wells, Texas, and it was just too cold and windy to stay a second night. I went to tour the hotel that I wanted to go see and it was closed and it was cold and windy and I wasn't going to go back and sit in my minivan for 10 hours until it was nighttime, etc. And so I just booked on out of there and got a hotel close to the state park I was going to the next day. And I'd been to the town before. It was Ardmore, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. And I had been there before, but I couldn't necessarily remember all the places the different hotels were at. I could have got something for cheaper, but I just took a La Quinta because I knew where it was. Anyhow, don't regret it. It's too cold. I was not going to sit there in misery but I could get a nice hotel for the night. So that was the only unexpected expense. So I spent $5.61 on my drive home. It was a long driving day, like seven hours. So I just got some McDonald's and gas. I spent what, like $115 on a little bit high on the gas, higher than what I had predicted, but that's because gas prices had gone up quite a bit, but that's okay. Still my whole six day trip was $375 and 98 cents. I just ate food and stuff that I had packed from my home. All righty, and then for my regular spending, when I got home, I needed to go to the grocery store and get a bit of food items, $33.59. And I had to get some hair dye and some hair conditioner. That was $18.38. Total that day was $51.97. On Thursday, I spent $5.99 for some hair towels. These were all on Amazon. And out of my YouTube account, I took $20.43. I needed to get some zipper envelopes for the Romanian prop money that I'm using. It can fall out, so it needs to be zipped in. And then I got this mat. Nice, nice. And then I noticed I was down to the wire on one of Liz's challenges, so I ordered the two new ones that I wanted. And that was $18 for that day. So my total for the week spent was $96.39 for my regular household stuff. And then the, the, the trip, which started last Friday and ran into this Tuesday, was a total of $375.98. And that was my spending. All right, next I wanted to show you, and I'll just make this really quick. I made these dashboards. I was shared with you yesterday when I did my cash stuffing that I was going to be doing some new dashboards for my sinking funds. And I just really wanted some dashboards that went like this. And of course, matching trackers, because you know, if you're gonna do it, might as well make some matching trackers. And then additionally, 
I made these savings challenges, which I put on my Etsy shop. I'm going to be using these. Folks, when I'm sharing stuff with you, I don't want you to run over and buy it unless it's something you really want. I'm putting it on my Etsy shop because I intend to be using it on my channel and I don't want to use stuff that's not available to you unless I think it's not worthy of putting on my Etsy shop. Some stuff I make is very specific and may not meet the general population, so I won't put it on there. And then I also made these cute little bees and you get three A6s, two A5s, and an envelope. Okay, let me get everything ready for the weekly challenges and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm ready here. I have my binder with my cash in it. This is my walking around money and this is what I stuff some of these challenges with. And let me find a nice crispy tin. There we go, there's a tin. I'm gonna put this in here. We'll get back to this in a moment. And let's see if I can do some of these envelopes. I won't need these 20s because there's nothing in there that's that big. So we'll just go like this for now and let's see what envelopes I get. I'm adding some of these numbers together. So a three is a three and this is a six. I think that's good enough, that's $9. So let's do this yucky old five and a one. Let's find some yucky ones since I'm gonna be folding them and putting them in these envelopes anyhow. And then three, okay. And again, this is just my walking around money. I don't track this. It's my money that I do not track. Part of the fun of doing challenges with it is that when this money is saved, I don't have to track where it goes either. I can do whatever I want with it. And usually that's something stupid, like going to the casino with me, because that's what I like to do with my extra money. Okay, and then $3 in this one. And this was an extra envelope that I made. It's not in that total. All righty. Low version of an envelope challenge. How many do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got about a month or two left. All right. Okay. Next, we have the challenges. Now, I want to thank all of the contributors. I still have a list of a bunch of people who have not yet been chosen, but I needed to kind of choose some that fit the numbers that I had. So first off was Jenny from Simply Living Saves. She picked 342 and yellow. And thank you, Jenny. We are now done with the biggest page in the book, which is the month of December. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay, that is done. And next, Therapist Saves picks 327 in purple. All right, here's another one. Ooh, this is a dark purple, but that's okay. At least it's different than the pink above it. And I want to thank everybody for giving me numbers. Like I said, I have not forgotten you. You're still written down, and I'll fit you in sometime in the future. If you have a number that you want to add, just put the number, color if you'd like, and I'll get you fixed in. Put in, not fixed in. The next one is from Texas Child and 302 in light blue. There are so many wonderful uh, budgeters from Texas. I can't believe it, I think. Well, I know Texas Child is. I have one other person with Texas in their name too. I don't remember that. I think Hey K is from Texas and Celeste. There's just a whole bunch of us from Texas. Okay, and the next Johnny. 23 cents in cobalt blue. And I think this is, this is about, this is gonna be close to cobalt blue, I think. I looked it up, it's kind of the different color of blue. So 23 cents. All right, I like these pins. Okay, now the last one is just a number I picked, number six to make it all even out. And I am going to use this purple, since it's not, well, it's kind of close to that. You know what? I am going to use orange, because it's not on this page yet. And number six, these are gonna start going a lot quicker now because we're getting the big ones taken care of. There's still quite a few big ones on October and November. If we go here, you can see still quite a few big ones. And then we have all these mid ones a whole bunch, but we'll get like four or five of those done a week. Okay, let's put the money in. See, I have all your names here still. Gonna get to you all. And we have another $10 in here. And this money's been taken to the bank. 
So three, this is for the 18th, $10, 290. I'm taping this on Sunday night. So 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, and 90, 290 dollars in this challenge. Fantastic. I think there's 660 some. So we're getting close to halfway done, y'all. Let me get everything else set up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I have everything ready. We're going to use the randomizing card tonight instead of just the putting the dollars in each one. I am going to go ahead and use these dollar bills and uh, consolidate up when we're done. This is my randomizing card. It tells what each number is going to. I have number one's Amazon, two clothes, three phone, four Etsy, five social, and six vacation. And then I have from Steph's on a Budget, I have her cows. I'm not going to take them out yet. I have, this is from Champagne at Champagne's Corner, Chris Gilmore, Tuatu, Tracy, Golden Girl Budgets, myself, and Budget Nerco, or Reinventing Renee. And I'm going to use a randomizer card, and I'm going to see which one goes. We're just going to start here and work down. So number one is going to get $2. All right. And I don't need to mark them off because I'm going to remember. All right. Where's this next $2 going to? Number six. Number six is getting $2. And number three is getting $1. And number four is getting $1. And number one is getting another dollar. We're on this one now. Number six is getting a dollar. Number five is getting a dollar. Ooh, can I get one more? And number three is getting two dollars. This is the next one. Number two is getting a dollar. And number two is getting two dollars. Okay, and then we have two dollars again for number two again. All right. And number five is getting a dollar. Number three, Chris Gilmore is getting three dollars. And number one is getting two dollars. And I should have three dollars left, and I do. And who's that going to? Number three. All right, Chris Gilmore again. Okay. All right, I've got my cardstock, and this one right here is from Steph's on a Budget. And how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, and five. So we're going to do two, one, three. And I think I had some in the front because I had extra dollars. Let me see. So... 3, 6, 9, 12, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and I have enough for one more. Excellent. So $15 in here, and yes, I'm going to consolidate those fives. Excellent. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. $10. So $15 into the one for Steph's on a budget. All right, next from Champagne at Champagne's Corner. How much do we have? One, two, three, four, and five. And I'm just doing each little spot at a dollar a piece. Let me color these in and I will be right back. Got $5. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and change it for this five here. And five, 10, 15, 20, 25. This one's going to have some good money in it. Next, from Chris Gilmore, Tuatu. Let's see what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine dollars. 
Okay, and I don't need that one. Let's grab this blue and let's do a five and a four. All right, nine more dollars going into here and let's consolidate. Do I have two? I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's going to be all my fives are resold. And in this one, I have 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 25. I don't have any more ones that need consolidated. All right, next. Oh, man. I needed two more dollars to finish this, and I only got one. So Tracy's from Golden Girl Budgets has $21. It's not going to get done tonight. Put that dollar in front. That way I know it's extra. Next we have mine, these little cows. And this one did get done. Yay. Going to be happy to get this one done because this is on that card stock that was bleeding through. Now I no longer have to look at it. Fantastic. So, and I will consolidate this before I put it in the bank, of course. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 25 dollars. And that is, or was, number five. So this is going to my social. I'm gonna write social on here. And so when I stuff this challenge, it's going to be into my social, extra money to hang out with my social group. Mostly just doing like weekend trips and such. And let's put a little cow on that. And that'll go in my magic box. And I'll have a new challenge out there for next week. Next, reinventing Renee. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, we're finally going to even up the fire here. Let me color these in. I'll be right back. All right, and this one from Reinventing Renee, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 dollars in here. Yes. Okay, let me go back here. I want to grab, which one do I want to do? I think I'm going to try this, do this one first. Um, and this is from Hey K Budgets, and it's, this was supposed to be a no spend. I'm just going to do a dollar per avocado. That's what fits into this challenge. I really wanted to get using this so I can be coloring those little avocado pits. So much fun. All righty. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this before I forget. I'm going to go to my cash here. And I am going to grab this 20. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And five is 20. I'm gonna put that into my walking round money because I can use those nice bills. And then this 20 in here. Okily dokily. Yay. The world of high finance and all the changing around of stuff, right? Okay, let me speed you up and count this quickly and see if I have, make sure I have 25. I have 25 here, which means I consolidated everything correctly. I hope you had a wonderful Monday and that you have a wonderful rest of your week. Like, subscribe, comment, share, all those things. But as always, if you just want to watch silently, I appreciate that support as well. And until the next one, bye.